We're at Crescent Park this morning. It is absolutely beautiful out. Thank you for joining me. I have the sunshine radiating directly on my face. It's fabulous. The birds are chirping. People are exercising. Child's pose to start class. Knees come wide. Hips sink back towards your heels. Arms reach long out on the mat. Enjoying the slow peaceful start to your morning, enjoying the little things that might come up during your day that are unexpected. Maybe some of them have already found their way into your morning. Otherwise, just maybe setting your intention for today that the little things that come up that surprise you that you just understand their workings in the universe and don't let them upset or distract from your happiness, but just show themselves as little additions. Rise into a tabletop pose. Fix your yoga pants if they're already out of whack. Reach your right arm up to the sky, gaze comes and follows your right hand. Find that nice early stretch. Thread the needle under your left arm. Right cheek comes down to the mat. Left arm can either extend out in front of you or reach up to the sky and then bend around your back for a small bind here. Breathing into this space. Inhale and exhale. Left arm reaches up to the sky, plant it back down. Right arm spirals back up and replant it on the mat. Left arm this time, left arm high, gaze follows that hand. Finding a nice spinal twist and then thread the needle under your right forearm, coming down onto your left cheek. Right hand either comes out in front of you or reaches up to the sky and then loops around your back, maybe grabbing for your left hip to open up through the chest. Take your right arm back high, plant it down on the mat, and find a tabletop position. For a tabletop, we'll move into a few cat cows, so inhale for stargazing cow, belly drops, gaze rises, sits bone spread. Exhale, press the mat away, curl the spine, gaze comes to your navel, inhale, inhale for cat, exhale, curl the spine for cat. This musician is just all about it today, inhale for stargazing cat, exhale, terrified cat, finding that breath to match your movement and just beginning to move like you. Starting to wake up, maybe bend into one wrist, bend into the opposite wrist, maybe tuck your toes and put some pressure there. I don't know about y'all, but I slept hard last night. It's when you set the alarm and you just, you wake up and you didn't even know you were sleeping, but so much has happened. Release your right arm long, your left toes behind you. Extend. Knee to elbow, crunch it in. Inhale, reach long. Knee to elbow, squeeze it. One more time, reach long. Knee to elbow. And release. Move your hips a little bit here. Right arm reach, or left arm reaches forward. Right toes reach back. Engage that right hamstring with the right leg high. Knee to elbow, crunch it in. Inhale, reach long. Knee to elbow, crunch it in. Inhale, reach long. Longest reach up. Knee to elbow. Plant the hands. Let's move through one more cat cow variation. Inhale, start using cow. Exhale, terrified cat and then find your way into your downward facing dog when you're ready. Pedaling out your feet, your feet are hip width distance apart, so take a peek at them. 
Take a peek at your hands. Your hands are shoulder width apart. Pressing firmly into all 10 finger pads. Pedaling out your feet. Heels are actively reaching towards the mat. Hips are high. With each inhale, let your chest find a little length and then each exhale, press the mat away and your chest sinks deeper towards your quads. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, roll forward into your high plank, pressing firmly out through your heels, pressing the mat away, lifting out of the shoulders, firing up the core. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up on your toes, hips go high. Exhale, hover your knees. Inhale, roll forward into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Do that motion two more times here. Up on your toes on your inhale. Bend your knees, hover them on an exhale. Inhale, roll forward into your high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, pedal it out. We'll do that one more time. Up on your toes on an inhale. Hover those knees on an exhale. Shift forward in your high plank on an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Finding a quick child's pose here. Knees come wide. Sink your hips back down. Let your third eye rock back and forth. We've brought a little movement into the body. Acknowledge your third eye, your chakra of intuition, leading it through today's practice, pressing back up through tabletop, fighting your downward facing dog. We'll shift our right leg high, three-legged dog. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Couple of hip circles one direction, hip circles the opposite direction. And then just extend your right knee up high, keeping that bend, stacking the hips. Right leg reaches high, square the hips. Knee to nose, crunch it in. Inhale, take it high. Knee to nose, drop your foot off between your hands, drop your back knee. Rise up, crescent lunge. We have to do a crescent lunge at Crescent Park this morning, of course honoring that crescent formation of the Mississippi River. It's a beautiful thing. Reach your arms up high, long side bodies. Maybe let your throat go, gaze comes up to the ceiling or the sky if you're lucky enough to be outside today. Hands come down to the earth, shift back on that front heel for a half split. Might not be too far yet this morning, that's fine. Just letting the body wake up, finding those sensations throughout the body. We bend into your front knee. Let's find crescent lunge one more, one more time. Arms sweep up, reach long through your side body, sink forward in your hips, and then reach back. Pressing deeply through your right heel to activate your right hamstring, finding that stability. Plant your hands, right leg shoots back, downward facing dog. Pedaling it out. Left leg goes high to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hips. So I'm really reaching for my right knee to be reaching way up to the sky, my heel to be reaching towards my opposite glute. Hip circles one direction here. Hip circles in the opposite direction. Good. Finding those stacked hip lifts hips once again and then extend your left leg straight knee to nose crunch it forward in a high plank inhale take it high knee to nose step it between your hands dropping your right knee down arms sweep up to the sky finding your crescent lunge again reaching up and out of your side bodies and then up and back not collapsing into our lower back, but reaching up and around like it's over a beach ball. Sinking deep into your hips as you continue to reach higher. Gaze is high. Plant your hands, finding a half split. 
coming back on your left heel, hip shift back. Spine is nice and long, gaze is beyond your toes. Shift from forward one more time into our crescent city low lunge. Pressing firmly through your left heel, shift those hips forward. Sink down nice and low, reach nice and long. Plant your hands, left leg steps back, downward facing dog. Finding a stroll to the top of your mat, coming into ragdoll pose once you arrive, grabbing opposite elbows with opposite hands, swaying through the hips, finding that stretch through the whole back posterior chain. Head is reaching long on the mat, long towards the mat. Maybe reverse your grip here. Find something that's a little bit different, but not uncomfortable, not insurmountable. Release your hands down to the mat, halfway lift. Spine is long, gaze is forward. Exhale, forward fold. Circle sweep your arms up to the sky, high prayer. Bring those hands into heart center. We'll move through our Surya Namaskar. That sunrise is looking beautiful. I'm seeing it in my phone, I love it. All right, so our sun salutations. Let's salute this beautiful sun this morning. Inhale those arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold right back down. Right leg reaches long, left leg meets it downward facing dog. Roll forward into your high plank, lower all the way down, flat as a board. Inhale for cobra, hands under the shoulders, engage through the lower back. Tuck your toes, hips go high, downward facing dog. Right leg high to the sky, step it between your hands, drop your back knee. Find a quick crescent lunge here through our sun salutations. Plant your hands, left leg meets it, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Circle sweep your arms up to the sky. High prayer gaze follows your hands. Exhale, right back down, forward fold. Left leg reaches long this time, low lunge. Right leg meets it on an exhale, downward facing dog. Roll forward in your high plank, inhale. Lower all the way down, flat as the board. This time a more exaggerated cobra, so bring some lengthening into the arms, chest reaches higher. Exhale, let it go, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches high, step it between your hands. Drop your right knee. Inhale, crescent lunge, think forward, reach high. Plant your hands, left leg steps back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, right leg meets it at the top of the mat, my bad. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep those arms up to the sky, back to the right side. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg reaches long on an inhale. Exhale, left leg meets it, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward into your high plank. This time, if you want to move through your chaturangas, lower halfway down, elbows stay nice and in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Step it between your hands, left knee drops, crescent lunge. Exhale, plant your hands, left leg meets it, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Circle sweep your arms up high on an inhale. Exhale, hands through heart center, right back down, forward fold. Left leg reaches long, low lunge. Right leg meets it, downward facing dog. Roll forward into your high plank, inhale. Exhale, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches high. Step it between your hands. Drop your right knee down. Circle sweep your arms up high, crescent lunge. Exhale, plant your hands. Right leg meets your left, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale your arms up to the sky, gaze follows your hands. Right back down, last round here. Right leg steps long, low lunge. Left leg meets it in a high plank, powering through this high plank, lower slowly down, chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing here in your downward facing dog. On your next inhale, come up on your toes, bend your knees, gaze comes forward, step, hop, or jump your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, circle, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hip, bend at the hips, right back down, forward fold. Left leg reaches long this last time. Right leg meets it in a high plank. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, spread across the heart. Exhale, down dog. Pausing here in your down dog. Inhale, come up on your toes, bend your knees. Step, hop, or jump your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Circle, sweep your arms up to the sky. Sink those hips down low for chair pose. Woo! Good yogis, it is early for chair pose, but we earned it. We woke up. We are here. We have arrived. Sink those hips down. Release your toes of that death grip off of the mat. Arms reach high. Shoulder blades roll down your back. Gaze comes up towards your hands. Sink an inch lower. Hands come to heart center. Hold it here for three, two, one. Forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or jump back. Roll through vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Our body is moving. We infuse some heat, some tapas. Our body is ready to work, I hope. Inhale your right leg high to the sky. Right knee, right elbow, shift it forward. Inhale, take it high. Right knee, left elbow across the body. Inhale, take it high. Step up between your hands. Rise up, warrior one. Warrior one, your heel is spiraled down. Your toes are at a 90 or at a 45 degree angle forward. Arms reach up to the sky, pulling back on your right hip. Forward on that left hip. Sink low here. Straighten through the front leg. Cactus the arms. Hands come behind your back. Chest expands. Devotional warrior sink down. Right elbow comes to the inside of the right thigh. We'll hold it here for just a moment. Core is actively engaged. Arms are reaching back behind you. Legs are super strong. Inhale back up, warrior one. Release your hands down to the mat. Right leg steps back. Roll through your vinyasa. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Now the park is pretty busy this morning. It's rocking. There's a lot of people out here doing their thing. That's awesome. All right. Right left leg high to the sky. Left knee, left elbow, shift it forward. Inhale, take it high. Left knee, right elbow, cross the body. Inhale, take it high. Step it between your hands. Spiral your right heel down. Rise up, warrior one. Good. So sinking deep into your left knee. Powering through the outside edge of your right foot to keep your right leg nice and strong. Your core is knitted up. Straighten through the front leg. Cactus your arms. Spread across the chest. And then clasp your hands behind your sacrum to expand your heart even further. Release into devotional warrior. Left shoulder comes to the inside of the left quad. Arms may be released further over your head this time for a shoulder stretch. Not dumping your weight into the front leg, but staying strong. Your core is strong. One more inhale. One more exhale. On your inhale, rise up, warrior one, once again. Exhale, plant your hips. Left leg steps back. Roll through your vinyasa. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Go left jaw, let's move through our next round. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Right knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Right knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it high. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it high. Step it between your hands. Rising up, warrior one. Sinking nice and deep into that front leg. Expanding across your heart. Opening up warrior two. Gaze over that front middle finger. Deep bend in your front knee. Peaceful warrior takes you up and back. Keeping that long side body in the deep bend in that front knee. Rising up. Flying warrior, all ten toes to the left side of your mat. Expand across your heart. Bring your arms out to a T. Forward fold, let it go. Plant your left hand in the middle of the mat. Right arm spirals up to the sky. Finding that twist in your torso, keeping your hips square. So we're not cocking our right hip up, even though we're twisting that direction. Keep that outer right hip moving down. Top hand comes down to the mat. Spiral your left arm up to the sky, gaze follows it. Your core is contracted, twisting through the spine. Inhale to find length, exhale to stay. Inhale, go long, exhale top, plant that top hand, come back down into your forward fold. Chin into chest, rising up, straight all the way to the top. Crown of the head reaches high. We'll find warrior two, again to the front of the mat. Peaceful warrior takes you up and back. Plant your hands down to the ground, right leg steps back. Roll through your vinyasa. Of course, vinyasas are always optional. You can always just meet us in downward facing dog whatever you need to do to make this practice work for you. Inhale your left leg high. Knee to nose, shift it forward. Inhale, take it high. Left knee to right elbow across the body. Inhale, take it high. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it high. Knee to nose, step it between your hands. Rise up, warrior one. My outer left hip is pulling back. My outer right hip is squaring towards the front of my mat. Sink deeper here. Open up, warrior two. Gazes over your front middle finger, energetically moving through both arms. Deep bend in your front knee. Flip your front palm, let it take you up and back for peaceful warrior. Pausing here, rising up, straightening through the front leg. Flying warrior to the right side of your mat. Finding a forward fold. I always love the poses where my booty is just the only thing you can see in the camera. <laughs> Why not, friends? Why not? Walk your hands over to your left or your right ankle, excuse me. Head reaches towards that shin or any amount, just energetically moving towards your back leg. Staying with your breath, staying present on your mat. Walk your fingertips through center and then over to your left foot, grabbing the left ankle perhaps and then bringing your forehead in towards that shin. Enjoying this stretch, but making it active, staying present. Walking your hands back through center, halfway lift. Finding that warrior two to the front of the mat once again. Ooh, the sun is blinding me, but I kind of love it. Peaceful warrior takes you up and back. Windmill your hands down to the mat. Left leg steps back. Find your vinyasa flow. Chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. 
Great. Let's go through one more round here, keeping our flow moving. Inhale your right leg high. Knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale it high. Right knee, left elbow, pausing here. Leg shoots off to the side of the mat, fall in triangle. Hips reach high, gaze comes to your top arm. Pausing here. Big inhale, big exhale, top arm reaches down, right leg reaches high. Step it through your hands, rising up, back here drops. Find that warrior one. Deep bend into your front knee. Gaze comes and meets the sun. Hope I get a suntan this morning. 7 a.m., why not? All right. Open up warrior two. Peaceful warrior takes you up and back. Torso comes to meet, straighten through your front leg. Tick tock forward and down, triangle pose. Gaze comes up towards your top hand. Using your bottom hand as a lever to open up across the heart even more here. Pulling your belly button through the back of your spine. Right hip is pulling back, left hip is spiraling forward. For two, one, bend into your front knee, extended side angle. Left arm sweeps in front of your face and over your right ear. Again, gaze is up here, spiraling your right ribs up to the sky. Peaceful warrior takes you up and back, and we'll find a half moon pose. So gaze comes in front of your left hand, or in front of your left foot. Launching onto your right foot, left leg reaches high, punches to the back of your mat. Either keeping your left hand at your left hip or reaching it up to the sky. Gaze can follow that hand. Don't look at yourself in the camera or else you'll fall. <laughs> Pausing here, being strong in your poses, being purposeful. Good. Slowly release to the back of your mat. Warrior two once again. Gaze over that front middle finger. Good work, y'all. Windmill your hands down to the earth. Step your right leg back. Roll through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pedaling it out. Moving through our left side, left leg goes high. Left knee to nose, crunch it forward. Inhale, take it high. Left knee to right elbow, pause here. Hold the engagement. Then left leg comes to the right side of your mat, fall in triangle. Right arm reaches high, lift up and out of your hips. Here you come to your top hand. One more breath in. Exhale, top hand releases. Left leg reaches high. Step it between your hands. Rising up, warrior one. Sink deep into that front knee. Holding here. Release your shoulder weights down your back. Warrior two. Open up. Just keeping that deep bend in the front knee. Inhale and exhale your next inhale peaceful warrior then the torso comes up straighten through the front leg tick tock your torso forward and down for triangle pose lengthening across the heart finding a deep bend in that front hip crease my left ribs are spiraling up to the sky Breathing in and breathing out, bending into your front knee, extended side angle, right arm sweeps in front of your face and over your right ear. Oh, this boat is gorgeous. Thank you, New Orleans, for that scenery. Can't buy that, y'all. I guess you probably could buy that, but you know what I mean. Peaceful Warrior takes you up and back. Finding warrior two, once again, 
and then moving into our half moon gazes over that left foot left hand comes to plant right foot punches to the back of the mat right hand reaches high gaze follows that right hand if you have the balance even if you don't I recommend you try it test yourself today make it a good day slowly rebend into the left knee finding warrior two here for just a moment and then windmill your hands down towards the ground step your left leg back roll through your vinyasa inhale up dog exhale down dog good we'll take a walk our feet to the top of the mat once again finding a bound forward fold take your peace sign fingers wrap them around your big toes <laughs> there's a conversation happening back there spine reaches long and then bend at the elbows to release the crown of your head towards the mat finding that juicy forward fold the spine of your toes is helping you to get there to a degree that you couldn't without it staying with your breath staying on your mat slowly release halfway lift long spine exhale let it go root to rise circle sweep your arms up to the sky high prayer clasp your hands together release your pointer fingers finding an extra back bend here release those fingertips back hip point shift forward sternum is reaching high and then back go ahead and come back up we will find a stretch to our left so reach firmly with our arms extended up above our head plant through the outer right foot reaching up and over to the left chest is high finding a back bend and also a stretch through our side body inhale back up center exhale to the right inhale up high release your hands find that back bend hands to heart center we'll go through a couple of balancing poses here a little slower sequence finding our our morning flow so starting first with our tree pose so we'll bring our right knee into our chest and then plant your right foot on the inside of that left groin hip points are going to shift forward hands to heart center and then when you're ready root to rise plant firmly through that left foot to grow your tree expand across the heart pinkies dial towards one another as much as you're pressing your right foot into your thigh your thigh is pressing back into your foot Maybe find a small back bend here. Arms reach back while chest reaches forward, up. One more breath in, one more breath out. Hands come to heart center, grabbing your big toe with your peace sign finger. We'll find a new T to A extended hand to big toe pose. So left hand at your hip, right arm extends out in front of you, kicking that foot forward planting firmly through your left foot maybe your left arm rises maybe your right arm rises keeping that leg extended we'll find warrior three shifting that leg back hands kind of come to heart center or release behind you finding up dog in your chest hands pretending like they're pressing on two stacks of books Pausing here for two, pausing for one, and come down to the mat for standing splits. Reach your right leg high, I know it's tired, I know your left leg is tired too. Chest is reaching down towards the mat with the crown of the head. Tuck your right knee behind your left ankle, coming down for a seated spinal twist. Right arm reaches high to the sky, right elbow on the outside of your left knee. 
days comes back to the beautiful Crescent City if you're in as lucky of a location as I am. You can just look directly at the screen the whole time. Feel all the fields with me. It's a gorgeous morning. Reaching out of your sit bones, long in your spine. Counter twist to the opposite side of your mat. My back has got a crank in it while I was sleeping, so this is whew, heaven and hell all in the same. <laughs> all right, find your downward facing dog. Shift those legs back. Roll through a vinyasa if that's the way you want to get there. That's awesome. I applaud you. Walking your feet to the top of your mat again for a forward fold. The bind we'll find this time is bringing your palms under your feet for real pose. So your hands are fully under your feet. Your toes are up in your creases of your wrists. Maybe wiggle, wiggle them a little bit. Give yourself a little massage. You can have as deep of a bend in your knees as necessary in this pose. Just working for your legs to come a little bit straighter to find that stretch and mobility. Let the crown of your head go. I love how legitimately I feel like a gorilla in this pose. It's so perfect. Just arms draping on the ground. If you don't feel it, give a little sway side to side. You'll start to feel it. Like you're just a gorilla sauntering around the jungle. Slowly release your hands. Roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Chin is tucked in. It's the last thing to rise. Face the camera again here. All right, tree pose into the opposite side. So right knee lifts into your chest. And then we'll plant our, right, or our, our left sole of our foot in our right groin. Hands come to heart center. Shift those hip points forward. When you're ready, arms reach high. Grow your tree. So I love this kind of juxtaposition of the more that we press down in this pose, the more we can reach up. And the more that we press our thigh into our foot, the more that this foot has more strength and freedom to externally rotate our left knee. And if you fall out, get right back in. It's all good. It's just yoga and it is early. Staying here for one more breath. Again, finding that back bend if you did it on the first side. Arms reach back, chest reaches up and back. Good. All right, hands to heart center. And then grabbing your big toe with your peace sign fingers. Right hand comes to your hip. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Keeping that toe lock to press that heel forward. Woo! Ooh, yeah. My left side is like this. Staying here for one more breath. Extend your right arm up. Left arm meets it. Right foot stays long. And then shifting it back and through warrior three. Hands are at heart center or they can wing behind you. I'm on the fence back behind me. I don't have much mobility. Staying here, finding up dog in the chest. And then hands come down to the mat, clearing any fences, any obstacles in your way. Head is reaching towards the mat. Hands are planted within a, ha or a standing split. And then when you're ready, tuck that right knee behind your left ankle. Left arm reaches high to the sky. Connecting on the outside of your right knee. Gaze comes back to this beautiful view. Spine reaches long. With each exhale, you press deeper. And then a counter twist to the opposite side of the mat. Forehead comes down. Gorgeous, y'all. Staying down here on your mat. 
finding a boat pose. Feels like a suntan pose right now. So your shins are parallel with the earth. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. It always helps me to do that by grabbing the backs of my legs and then using the backs of my legs to pull my chest forward and my shoulders back. Extend your arms long, maybe extend your legs long, pulling your belly button through the back of your spine, engaging your lower core. We're going to reach our right knee into our chest as we release down. And then left knee, right knee. We're keeping our shoulder blades off of the earth, reaching your hands towards your toes. I'm completely blinded by the sun, but it's beautiful. All right, arms reach up over your head. We're going to crunch up as we bend the opposite knee. So arms extend long, right knee to chest, crunch up. Release long, release up on that, or reach up on your left leg, release long. Right leg, crunch in, release long. Left leg, crunch in, let's do four more. Reach long for three, for two, for one. Let's go to zero, let's end on the left. Woo, all right. Legs come into your chest. This is the first class that I'm teaching without music and it's difficult. I will be adding music to the class later <laughs> to add to YouTube, so look forward to that. But I'm just out here talking simply to myself at Crescent Park, acting like a crazy person. We all love it, we all expect it, it's all good. All right, finding a bridge pose, bring your feet under your hips, arms extend long by your sides, and then pressing through your feet, lift your hips up. Knees are like train tracks. They're reaching straight forward, not splaying out to the side. Your hamstrings are ultra engaged, even more so than your glutes. Reach an inch higher. Exhale, slowly come down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Knees come in, feet go out. You can either to relax your back in between sets, your knees can press in, your lower back presses in towards the mat, or you can sway those knees side to side like windshield wipers. Whatever feels the most restorative to you. All right, feet come back through center. We're going to find two bridge poses, or excuse me, two wheel poses this morning. But if you would like to continue to take wheel that entire time, you are welcome to do so. So for our first wheel, hands come back behind our shoulders, fingertips are facing our shoulder blades. When you're ready, press it into your hands and your feet to lift up. Walk your feet together a little bit if they've spread out wide. Again, knees are tracking in a two parallel lines. Pressing your chest towards the back of your mat. Your shins are reaching towards the front. Here for one more breath. On your exhale, tuck your chin. Slowly come down, inch by inch. Finding that same restorative pose that we did in the last round, whether it's pressing your knees together or windshield wiping them side to side. We'll come into one more bridge pose or again, excuse me, one more wheel pose. Whew. All right. But again, take bridge if that is where you are at this morning. I am all about it. Some days all I need is bridge after bridge. Sands the wheel. All right. But we're moving in our, to our second wheel this morning. So when you're ready, pressing those hips up. Maybe you find a little more height than you did in the first round. Pressing deeply through your feet, through your hands to lift higher. One more breath in. On your breath out, slowly come down. Good work, yogis. Last time, massaging out your lower back. Feet come wide, knees knock in. Doing whatever feels good to you. Alright, we'll 
we'll find a half happy baby here. So right knee comes into your chest. Maybe give a couple of hip circles one way, pulling it into your chest and your armpit. Hip circles the opposite direction. Then grabbing the inside or outside of that right foot, bringing your right knee to the outside of your armpit. Left leg is still reaching long on your mat. Maybe strengthen, or straightening into your right hand and then re-releasing into that stretch, the bend. Good, hug that knee in one more time. Switching out your legs. Left leg comes in. Give a couple of hip circles one direction. Hip circles in the opposite direction. And then finding a half happy baby here. Grabbing the outside of your left foot. Left knee is reaching towards the outside of your left armpit. My hips have been so tight through this quarantine. I've been doing so much yoga, so much walking. And they're still so tight. Maybe they're getting stronger, that's what I'll tell myself. They're just moving and forming and improving and strengthening. That's why they're sore. We release into happy baby. And then left knee into your chest again. Let's bring our right knee into our chest. Give it a big hug here. Squeezing your knees into you. Chin your chin into your knees. Good. And then coming up to a seated position. We reach our right leg long, our left knee bends in. Reaching out of your hips, arms reach up to the sky. Forward fold over your extended right leg. Folding with a nice flat spine. Reaching for length. It's such a beautiful morning. I'm so thankful to be out here. I'm so thankful to everyone that's joining me virtually. I wish we were all here together. This is gorgeous. Okay. Finding a stargazer's pose. So right, left hand comes and plants behind the left glute. Coming up on your left knee, reaching your right arm up and over your head. Hips are high. Expand across the entire body here. Hips sink back down towards the mat. Switching out your legs. Left leg extends long. Arms reach nice and high. Square your hips or your chest over your extended leg. And then forward fold. Words are hard early in the morning. If anyone else has realized that, words are hard. I did not do my speaking exercises before coming out here today. I should have. I really should have. Reaching long over your left leg. Enjoying this stretch here. I feel like during quarantine, I've... You know, maybe why I'm feeling so sore is that I just move from, like, exercise to exercise. And because, like, I feel like I'm not accomplishing very much, I'm not spending any of the normal time that I would spend trust or, um, excuse me, stretching. Um, or just, like, relaxing. I am relaxing, but it's not with intention. Because I just want, I feel like I'm not being productive. And so I'm trying to, you know, skip out on the things that makes me vibrant, my stretching, and just some relaxation techniques, my meditation that I have, find the stargazer here. And it's important to realize that even during these moments where you just feel like you're not doing as much, that you like stick to the things that really make you feel good, 
and not just the things that you feel like you should be doing to feel good. Extend both legs out in front of you, arms reach up high, forward fold over both legs. We've got our musician back, I hope you all can hear him. Enjoying this forward fold together. Maybe find length on your spine in your next inhale. Forward fold, fold deeper, your deepest fold yet. Good. All right, slowly release down onto the mat. We'll find a full happy baby now. So both knees bend, grabbing the outsides of both feet. Spine is long on the mat, not curled up. Knees reaching to the outsides of your shoulders. Maybe extending straight into one leg, straight into the other leg. And then rebending. Maybe find a rock side to side. Imagine what your truest happy baby looks like and find that. Good. Waterfall pose, legs extend up to the sky, flexing your toes back towards your face, letting all of the toxins release out of your legs. If you'd like to find shoulder stand, walk your hands under your hips, legs reach up to the sky, elbows Come and track towards one another. Maybe finding cloud pose by dropping one leg behind you and then the opposite leg. If your arms are reaching long on the mat, they can clasp together, pressing your pinky side into the mat to help you lift your hips even higher. Release your legs the same way they came in. One leg up and then the other. Supporting that lower back as you slowly roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. We'll find one last spinal twist here. Right knee into your chest. Bringing it over to the left side of your mat while your gaze comes to the right. Left hand is on top of that right knee to find the assist and the opening through the hip. Right knee back to center. Switch out your legs. Left knee comes in. Squeeze it in. Taking it over to the right side of your mat. Gaze comes to the left. Come back through center. Hug both knees. Again, into your nose. Your nose into your knees. Squeeze everything tightly together. And then slowly release that tension. And roll out fully on your mat. Toes play open. Palms are facing up. You'll find Shavasana here together. Just staying here for five breaths. If you would like to take an extended shavasana after class, you're welcome to do so. Maybe bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Let's find three more breaths together. Inhale through your nose. Sit up, curl up. Exhale, slowly release. Two more, finding an inhale through chest, and then your belly filling all the way up, slowly exhale, finding your last inhale and exhale together, make it your biggest one yet, filling up your chest and your belly, take an extra sip at the top. 
and slowly release. Rolling over to your favorite side, finding a fetal position here for a moment, cradling your head and your elbow crease. I hope someone else is outside and feeling this lovely sunshine. I could lay here all day. When you're ready, slowly finding your way to a seated position. Hands come to heart center. New Orleans, thank you so much for joining me on your mat this morning. Thank you, Nola Tribe Yoga. I love you all so much. The light in me sees, honors, and reflects the light in each and every one of you. The thumb knuckles come to your third eye. Bow as we say, namaste.